Today marks the beginning of the sixth year at UC Davis for me, and I thought I'd look back at the last five of them. Starting, of course, with moving into college, living in the residence halls for my first time, and moving away from home for my first time. I got to meet a lot of new friends, and I went to my first classes, got to film my first UC Davis events, started to cook for myself for the first time, and got to meet, of course, my first roommate, Kevin, and eventually we met Catherine as well. Of course, I filmed some protesting and got pulled over by a bike cop for the very first time. I started filming for athletics, which was a lot of fun, and it's something that I still love doing so much. Got to explore Tahoe with Catherine, ouch, and experience just some more of what Davis has to offer. And then I made this video. This is when everything changed for me. This is Laban Hall. This video caused me to go semi-viral in Davis and led to my many jobs on campus and why I'm still here. I got to meet the new chancellor at one point, he's really nice, and of course got to experience my very first picnic day. I also started filming for a K-pop dance group called So Anyone, and then this tradition, which I don't think happens anymore, occurred, the screaming during finals. And this brings us to year two, which had another move-in day this time to my first ever apartment, and it's actually the apartment that I still live in. I got to film some more UC Davis events, which was of course a really fun time, but I got a better camera and I also got better views. Another year started with another first week of classes and I changed my major, and Catherine and I were dating at this point, so we started doing more of the Davis date ideas, including the corn mazes and pumpkin patches. I began filming more and more UC Davis events, including the 50th anniversary of Unitrans, met Dr. Enderly playing Pokemon Go, met the Chancellor and his wife for lunch, and of course, took more classes, discovered how cold it really gets in winter at Davis, played I Am Sports, and then met all of these amazing YouTubers, and of course started doing embarrassing things like going on skis in the middle of a classroom. And then I made this video, which has 100,000 views and is an outdated campus tour, so hopefully I'll update that this year. I also got to meet the wonderful people of Wong Fu Productions, who actually watched my video, and then I tried to learn BTS to end the year. Year 3 started off with me bringing the vlog back after a little bit of a hiatus. Catherine and I got cats, Sashi and Coco. They're adorable. And I started getting into cooking and more food things here at Davis, including some of the restaurants that you can find downtown. Kevin, my housemate after two years, now was leaving, and our new housemate, Elise, moved in with her cat, Oliver. The wildfires became a big issue here in Davis, and school was shut down for a week, and the smoke really was insane. I started playing ice hockey again, and well, that happened. I did my first ever apartment tour. I also went ahead and became more involved in what UC Davis had to offer to incoming first years. And I got to meet a bunch of you for the very first time at my meetup. However, like many college students, I had to deal with some mental health issues in college. After getting through those things, I did get to have another really fun picnic day, as always. And then this happened. I dropped out of UC Davis. But that brings us to year four, when I got rehired as a staff member at UC Davis. And I had decided to come back to YouTube to make all these great videos with people like Garve. I did it a really cinematic day in the life of a college student with Catherine, and I had a lot planned. And then COVID happened. And COVID caused things to change again. I started vlogging more from home, and honestly, I was working from home almost nonstop. COVID kind of threw a wrench into what my plans were gonna be for that fourth year. But with year five, welcome to Craving to Create on YouTube. I went ahead and rebranded. I got to host my own cooking show with UC Davis Dining Services. I started cooking more. Catherine and I started doing travel vlogs and that was a lot of fun. I shot my first ever Super 8 film and then reality struck that UC Davis would be coming back. I started hosting live streams. I made my own crash course version of UC Davis. And then we filmed this video of us making a TikTok about UC Davis. And that brings us to four months ago, when I just out of the blue stopped making content. No explanation, at least not here on YouTube. The reasoning behind it was that Catherine and I actually broke up. And it was a very amicable split, we just wanted different things and we are still really good friends. But because I had rebranded into this kind of travel couple channel, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with YouTube after breaking up. However, over the last week, I met so many of you at Move-In and Orientation 
and it reaffirmed what the impact that this YouTube channel has had on so many people. Just hearing your stories about how this YouTube channel has changed your opinion about UC Davis or has encouraged you to come here for college is inspiring and honestly, I still don't know what to say. But I'm super excited about my sixth year here at UC Davis. I plan to start making some more UC Davis videos again. I know I had weaned myself off of them, but I think I'm back. I also am very excited because today, Thursday, September 23rd, tonight at 7.30 p.m., I'll be hosting my first ever in-person cooking show live with one of our chefs from Dining Services. And also, what's crazy is this Sunday is going to be premiering the college tour on Amazon and there, my footage is in an Amazon show, which is wild to me. So I'm just really excited for what's to come this sixth year. I'm excited to have people back in person and I'm excited to meet all of you throughout the year. And I'm gonna leave you with a quote from when I met some of you for the first time and you told me what it meant to have videos like this made. We watch your YouTube videos. We like you a lot because you have helpful videos for UC Davis students, so thank you a lot. I was really nervous to come to UC Davis because I'm from Philadelphia, but your videos really helped. I've watched oh all of your videos and they're really useful and I definitely needed them. I really like like thanks, uh, thank you because I joined. I'm a freshman here, so I joined UC Davis because of you. So I'm from Dubai, and I and I chose UC Davis because of you. Thanks a lot, dude. You rock. So basically, thank you to one all the kind words that people have come up to me and said over the past years, especially you know when you tell me that I influenced your decision to come to UC Davis. I don't know really what to say back to you a lot of the times because that's such a big decision in your life what college you're going to and to equate that decision to me is, well, I I'm honored. I still don't know what to say. I still don't know what to say to so many of you when you come up to me and tell me things like that. And, and I hope I can just continue inspiring everyone and continue making fun content. So here's to another year at UC Davis. And as always, stay safe and don't forget to be awesome. <laughs>